Hey boys, it's Arm None. Today we're going over the weekly update in Grand Theft Auto Online and boy oh boy it's kind of mid. Starting off the update week within the casino this week we have the Trufade Thrax as the podium vehicle. Definitely try to win this thing, it's a top 10 fastest supercar in the game, it's really really good, it has lots of customization. It's a great looking car, it's a great performing car, there's no reason to not try to win this thing. Definitely come to the casino every day that you can and try to give it a shot. The prize ride within the LS car meet is the Lampadaddy Viserys this week. In order to win this thing you're going to have to place top 3 for 3 days in a row in the street racing series races. This is formerly a top 10 fastest sports classic car in the game. It does have some good customization and it is a pretty cool car, I'm not sure that it's worth winning. But placing top three for three days in a row is not that hard of a challenge, so if you guys have time, you might as well give it a fair shot. All right, guys, and this is where the week gets interesting, and then it's going to get a little bit boring, and then it's going to get more interesting. New in Grand Theft Auto Online this week, we have a new free mode event called the Cerberus event. Now, the Cerberus is basically like the car that was added with the last Halloween thing where it would chase you and it would try to kill you. The Cerberus, I believe, is just the Cerberus from GTA, and it chases you down when you're doing exotic exports. Now, exotic exports are double money and double RP this week in Grand Theft Auto Online, so I guess the thinking is when you do exotic exports, the Cerberus is going to try to chase you and kill you. It adds some stakes into it, I guess, so I don't know, that's interesting. On top of that, we also have returning Halloween content this year and Beast vs. Slasher. So I'm not sure if the returning Halloween content is the slashers that will randomly spawn in. We'll just have to see, I guess. Now for bonus money and bonus RP, this week we have triple money and triple RP on free mode events. So things like Hunt the Beast, things like Criminal Damage, all of that is going to be triple money and triple RP this week. It's actually a pretty good way to make some money, but you're going to have to be in a public session with other players, which a lot of people are not going to want to do. So you won't really get access to that. As you guys can see, double money and double RP on the Beast versus Slasher adversary mode. This is back in Grand Theft Auto Online. Uh, give this a shot if you're trying to make some money this week. It's okay, but it's not exactly my favorite game mode ever, but you know, it's okay. And of course, like I said, we also have double money and double RP on exotic exports. So that's it for bonus money this week. So anybody who's trying to grind this week, um, unfortunately, not going to be the best time for you. However, we do have some unique discounts this week. We have all garages in Grand Theft Auto Online 40% off. So if you guys are looking for some extra space for your cars and you want to get it at a discount, all of the garages in the entire game are 40% off. So you can save a little bit of money with this. For vehicle discounts this week, guys, we have the Ocelot Locust discounted. This is a pretty good vehicle. This is 30% off. It's a decent car. Definitely check it out. We also have the Fister Comet Safari on discount this week. This is 50% off, which is a huge discount. We also have the Vapid Bullet on sale this week for 50% off, which is a huge discount on this thing. Not the greatest car ever, but it's still pretty fun to drive. We also have the Fister Neon on sale this week for 30% off, so that's a pretty good discount. On Southern San Andreas Super Autos, we have the Ubermacht Zion Classic on sale this week, which is pretty cool. This thing is going for 50% off, which is a pretty good discount. We also have the Declassy Tampa on sale for 50% off. It's a pretty good car too. Definitely check it out. On Warstock Cash and Carry, we have the Blazer Aqua on sale as well for 40% off, which is a pretty good discount. It's not the most useful vehicle, I'd honestly say, to avoid it, but it is there. And for some reason, I literally cannot find the Karen Everon on any website in GTA. I swear to God, I looked on every single one of them for at least five minutes. I cannot find it, but the Karen Everon is on sale for 30% off this week. Your RC Bandito time trial this week is the Davis Quarry. Your regular time trial is Fort Zancudo. And your HSW time trial is going to be somewhere on your map. Probably somewhere close to the city, I think, this week, but I could be wrong. Of course, because I'm on PC and we don't get access to that. So anyway, guys, that's pretty much it for the update week in Grand Theft Auto Online. Kind of not the best week ever, but kind of cool. At the same time, we do have some unique things going on, but they're not that cool still. So that's pretty much it for the update week. If you guys enjoyed this video, if you learned something, a like is, of course, appreciated. If not, dislike, subscribe if you guys are new, and I will see you all in the next video. Until then, take care. Peace.